It is New Year's Eve and somehow I have survived yet another year of my life. In this video, I'm going to explain why this year rocked and why it sucked. But before we get into that, let's rewind to Christmas Day just over a week ago. A good morning and Merry Christmas. It is Christmas Day. I am home from university. Let's get started. Okay, we're out for a walk. We had Christmas dinner earlier and I'm about to get a clay. <laughs> Is anyone in front of you, baby? Whoa! <laughs> I think you'd get Chloe, damn it. I missed Chloe completely. <laughs> Got him! The gingerbread house is still standing. Unbelievable. Hashtag most of Oh, fancy. I mean, no, but just move it forward. <laughs> okay, so the reason we have Sydney written in front of the, the gingerbread house is because that is the name of our granddad, our late granddad who recently passed away. Um, we all miss him dearly and it's been a really sad time for the family just before Christmas. Um, and he was a very, very good baker. He had a bakery, he loved what he did and that's the reason why he met Granny and that's the reason why we're all here. So he helped us last year with the Gingerbread House so it only felt right to do Sydney uh, in letters in memory of him. We love you Grandad and we miss you a lot. If you were here I'm sure you'd be having an absolute blast making the Gingerbread House. By the way, um, ignore the bow tie, I was given that for Christmas. I mean what can I say? Bow ties are cool. 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 Cool. Do you like the sand? Oh, I really like the double sided. The double sided ones look so much better. Oh, yeah. We're done. So, here we've got Sydney Gale Limited going around the forest to the back of the house. We've got Santa delivering his presents. Slightly scary beard. Kind of looks like he's got teeth. And the sleigh is pulled, pulled by lots of flat ropes. Bit 2D there, but you know. Got some reindeer, got some more reindeer. Yeah, all around the back of the house, more reindeer. <laughs> and then we have another tree. And then we have Haley's cyber mat. <laughs> this beast. <laughs> There's a cyber mat right there. And the house is a five star class combination made of ginger and icing and many other confectionery items. Five minutes later, have it all again on a sandwich. But then we did roll out the icing more than we had so to. we measured for size for these dimensions we needed. So actually we probably only used two thirds of a block of icing on this. Only two thirds. <laughs> So yeah, it was a really nice day with Alison and Pete coming around to stay. Uh, but then I got distracted by quite possibly the best Christmas cracker gift I have ever seen. Wait, I don't know what it is. It's a bit funny. I suck at this game. Oh damn. Yes you do. I tried to use Anyway, 2017, what a year it's been. It really all started in March when me and my sister surprised my parents with a party on their 25th wedding anniversary. <laughs> but that did end with granddad reversing into a ditch. That is not good. Yeah, cut the engine if you can. For April Fools, I tricked my parents into thinking that their new sofa had caught fire during shipping and wouldn't be arriving anytime soon. It was actually a terrible prank, but oh well. I'm only kidding, it's April Fools. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't judge yeah. me. I'm I don't know, I, I, was hoping, I was hoping you'd get home. Then Chloe declared that she's not a bike. We found a bike! <laughs> <laughs> and then I made my first ever video with a voiceover summarising everything that had gone on during my Easter holidays when I should have been revising. Then the conversation got weird and we started talking about weight. I'm underweight by 8kg. And then I said yay. Yay! <laughs> That's good. <laughs> 
<laughs> she you filmed that. Yay! Yes, yay! But it's okay because I passed first year and was able to enjoy the most epic summer of my life where I spent just 19 days at home out of four months. And in total, I'm only home for 19 days out of four months in the summer. So it's gonna be an absolute wild one. I'll be filming as much as I can, trying to keep up with videos as much as possible. I went to Van Mildert College Ball. Van Mildert Ball 2017, let's go. 12 seconds later. <laughs> Flew a drone for the first time. <laughs> Moved into my first student house and then made a video about how shocking of a state the previous tenants had left it in. I've just moved into my new student house and this is the site that we were greeted with when we moved in yesterday. Then I went to Edinburgh to see my sister where we went up to Arthur's seat. and took on the Edinburgh Dungeons. It's too bright. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, it blinds me. No. Put yourself together. Put yourself together. And then I was lucky enough to go to Japan where I stayed for a month with a host family and they showed me all there is to be seen in Japan. <laughs> Please tell me it's dodgeball. <laughs> That's the view. Liam Bush on YouTube, like and subscribe. So thank you Lions International for that opportunity. Instead of traveling straight home, I went to join my family on their holiday in Westwood Ho, and here's what we got up to. <laughs> Get the potato, then you blow on it so it's cool, just cool, then into the mouth. Oh. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and once I got back home, I had a week off before going on a power boating experience with Dad. <laughs> Next day, I flew out to Milan in Italy for a three-week internship, but on the way, I met Bazinga. Sorry, excuse me, I, I recognise you. You, Bazinga, do you get this all the time? Because like, I, I, I recognised you first, and I was like, do I know you from school or something like that? And then I saw your camera, I was like, no way, because I've got, I, I have like a really small YouTube, yeah. I, I have 69 subscribers. So yeah, you, you, got yeah, exactly, so yeah. No, it's good to meet you, man. Still can't quite believe that happened. And whilst out there, I went to the San Siro Stadium to watch AC Milan versus Calgary in one of the most mental football matches I've ever seen. <laughs> from my last weekend, Dad flew out to join me for the Italian Grand Prix, our first ever Grand Prix, which was topped off by Lewis Hamilton winning and then jumping into the crowd with us on the pit lane and then Dad somehow getting his autograph in the ensuing melee. Oh!
waiting, William. No! You didn't! I got it! No, no way! I didn't even know! I got it! Wow, that's so good! I would definitely recommend checking out the full weekend vlog and the five minute video with Hamilton jumping into the crowd with us and signing autographs. It was, it was absolutely amazing. Then, to cap it all off on my 20th birthday, I flew out to Australia to race Durham University's electric solar powered car across the outback in the World Solar Challenge. It was the most intense but fulfilling period of my life and I enjoyed every single second of it. Once we returned from Australia, I started my second year at university where I had to hit the ground running because I'd already missed the first two weeks of the course while simultaneously trying to recover from only having five to six hours of sleep every night for a whole month and editing the main Australia video for the society which will be used in all the marketing purposes and trying to get sponsors to build the 2019 solar car. I'm so pleased with the way it came out. I really, really recommend watching it. I can assure you, you definitely will not regret it. that's all you're getting. The only other thing that happened for the rest of the year was Lumiere and some flooding in Durham and I got a haircut for the first time since before Australia. I'm about to go get a haircut. Actually, how about right now? Ooh, straight fire. Look at that. Ooh, straight fire. Oh and a stranger's dog jumped into the river to fetch our frisbee when I was down in Cambridge. <laughs> well done. Go, go! No! <laughs> it was surely one of the funniest moments in the past few months. But the reason why 2017 sucked, well, it's just been a bit of a mess, really. At the start of the year, I still had no way of reliably editing the footage from last year's trip to Finland. So the first few months of the year were filled with videos from six months previously. And then due to the stresses of my first year, I really fell behind with my editing uh, and most of the videos were published three to five months after they actually happened. Which meant that when I did manage to upload videos pretty much as soon as they happened, it meant that they were all in the wrong order. In fact, I published the entire Italy series before I'd even touched any of the Japan footage. And when I finally got around to editing the Japan videos, I ran out of time before going to Australia where I had absolutely no time to edit at all. When I got back, I only edited the main Australia video and current day videos leaving all the rest of the Australia footage and all the Japan footage untouched, which really sucks and is always playing on my mind. And lastly, losing my granddad earlier this month really was a shock to the system. It was so unexpected and really brought me back down to earth after what's been a really, really crazy year for me. When I'm away at uni, I'm in my own bubble and I really forget about the things that matter the most. And for it to happen so suddenly and be informed about it over the phone was just so hard to take. I'm gonna miss him dearly. We always spoke on the phone and via email and he always had to keep up with my life and what I was doing, especially over the last few years where I've been doing YouTube videos where he'd always watch them and give me feedback on what he did and didn't like about the video. One of the things that he's quite critical of is the amount of text I put at the bottom of the video sometimes when I can't talk properly. So I have scaled that down in recent videos and I will continue to do that for him and I'm going to use his humour and energy that he put into everything he did in his life to inspire me to stay determined and keep creating throughout my life. But apart from that, I have nothing else really to say. I will leave a link to all the videos I've mentioned in the description below, bearing in mind they're not really in the right order chronologically, but in terms of my channel, I tried to explain what was going on in each video so you could understand the order that they were in and then my situation at the time. This channel will be filled with lots of Australia and Japan footage throughout the next few months which will wrap up everything that I did in 2017 so please subscribe and watch out for those videos. As I mentioned a lot of footage from the year hasn't even been published yet and even though 2018 may not be as epic as 2017 there is still a lot to look forward to. Alright that's it I'm gonna stop talking now I wish you a very happy new year 
Thanks for watching. Cheers. Oh my God, it's raining. <laughs> <laughs>